They'll put two receivers left, two to the right. Following the interception here, Rivers. And the tip there altered the ball flight, and it falls incomplete. It'll be second down. Anytime a ball's thrown in the middle of the field has popped up in the air, I expect someone to catch. It doesn't matter whether it's offense or defense because there's usually a great amount of bodies in that part of the field. In this case, no one came up with it. Ten yards still left on second down. Working out of the gun, Rivers. Jeffrey reels it in over the middle. That catch good for five. It's third down. And quickly, they get to the line. Rivers from the gun on third down. Dumps it off to Gurley. And he's able to get it to the 31, and that's enough for the first. They get five out of that one, and it moves the chains. He went full scale, loose, flexible, finding a way to catch the ball in some traffic for a key first down. Yeah, really a nice job of adjusting to the ball in the air. Not the most accurate of throws, but able to adjust and make the grab. Rivers now to throw on first down. And it pops free. The collision there jarred the ball loose and brings up second down. And that drop will cause a little bit of angst for the play caller because you know they've worked all week game planning and flexing the tight end out and making him a matchup issue for the defense. They had what they wanted, and he drops the ball. Yeah, just couldn't hang on to the slam. Offense looking to avoid a third and long. It's second and ten. They'll put two receivers left, two to the right. On second down, Rivers again. Buying time to his left. And it's caught right at the 10-yard line. And a nice gain at 21 yards. A nice little completion there by Phillip Rivers. And you and I were reading the article yesterday, fifth grade. Rivers had to do a project where he had to make a poster about his dreams and aspirations, so he clipped out a football player from a magazine article and pasted his face on the helmet. That's what he wanted to be, and it turned out okay. Not so bad, not so bad at all. Remember, he's the son of a coach. And, on that and he is in. Touchdown, New England. Todd Gurley, his second touchdown of the afternoon. And the Patriots add six to their lead. And he certainly played a pivotal role with those two TDs and why they're up on the scoreboard right now. Well, someone's all about winning, aren't they? Because he's not worried about the number. Sure, it's great to have two touchdowns. But the bottom line is what he's doing is contributing to their lead. He wants to continue to do so. Coons now. And with a play clock at three, we'll get a signal and a timeout on the whistle. It's just their first, so two remaining as they burn one here in this third quarter. Now Coons on to add the extra point. He's got it, and it's Kicking unit out for the Patriots as they send this one away. That'll be taken in the end zone. And he'll bring it a few past the 20 to the 23-yard line. Atlanta now coming out on the field. And following the interception, just any interception, are you a little bit more cautious when you start that next drive? Or no, you just throw that out the window? I think you are. I don't think that there's any way you can run back out there and go, ah, totally didn't affect me. Let's just go ahead and be loose with the football again. You're going to take care of it, but you have to be careful about being too cautious because now you can't run any offense at all. Still want to attack. We'll see how they attack them here. They go back to the air here after the INT. And now here's another interception. Deion Sanders, the former Falcon, with it. And they will take over possession of the football at their 42-yard line.
Now I've been in New York, Texas, Midwest, and 